get me. <laughs> it's a joke. 11. 13. If thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hand toward him, let the scripture say, uh, uh, my people will humble themselves and pray. Yeah. He can speak. Yeah, go ahead and get that. It says, if thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hand bring it up. toward him, if iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away. And let not wickedness dwell yeah, in thy tabernacles. All right, I'm gonna break that down. Uh, All right, iniquity is what imbalance. All right, sin. Now it says, uh, don't let wickedness dwell in your in your tabernacle. Now the scriptures say the body is a temple, right? So now, for then, once you turn away from wickedness, the ways of this world, it says, for then shalt thou lift up. Thy face without spot. All right, because sin is a spot in your garment. The Lord tell us to what? Shake ourselves from the dust. Cleanse your garment. All right? It says, For then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot, without shame. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shalt not fear. All right, once you come into this way, and you, yeah, don't follow that, don't follow the, don't follow the ways of the other man's steps. You follow your own steps, brother. Yeah. Uh, all right? Like, like, and that, that, they always see that if they're truly your friend. You know what I mean? Yes. It says, because thou, for then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot. Meaning you'll know that you're an Israelite from that point. You'll know that you're a, a, um, a child of the Most High. You'll know that you're not just a nigga out here or an African or nobody. As they try, they try to call us and sometimes treat us, you know? You'll know that you're more than that, right? And it says, Because thou shalt forget thy misery, and remember it as waters that pass away. So all this sin, everything we see in this society that's being destroyed, all the wickedness we see, all that stuff's going to fade away someday, man. The Lord's true name is Yahushua, and this is how the Lord looks. According oh, to the I King James was, Bible. And then, all right, I, know, I know exactly what you boys is. I exactly follow that belief, man. That's what's up, brother. Hey, you got the YouTube. I know you talking about y'all Judah. I know exactly what's up. Hey, that's what's up. Kyle Lyon, what you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, you got it right there? He did yeah, right right that too, man. Yeah. But right you got now. it? Yep, yeah, YouTube. Oh, man, I thought y'all were going to I thought y'all were going to go. Y'all were going to go. Y'all were going to go. Israel United. I'll be on. I got my paper. Oh, IUIC? Yeah. They wrong. They wrong. They wrong. Yeah, this is how you get them. Check this out. Do you know that's the mark of the beast? Right now, what? The RFID chip. Oh, yeah, where they put underneath your skin. Yeah. You have to, oh, this hey, man. brother. Do they do all you that? hear that, right? Ask IUIC. Next time you run into them, ask them about the mark of the beast. They're going to say, nah, no, it ain't. You can get that. Not because I was just reading about that. That's why I came. Come on, brother. That's I, I right. I seen that. The, uh, the Antichrist. And I was just talking about that. I was like, um, yeah. I was reading over that. I just wanted to know. Like, it's good to know your people, but it's better to know your enemy. And I just wanted to know. Like, <laughs> I, 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 know I don't understand like what Esau he, he doing. Whatever. That's right, something bro. What he doing. I was looking at that. I want to know who the gods were. Like, who they worship. Because they had to have, like, we got, we got Yahweh and all that. We got Yahweo Shu, Hamashiach. But we, I ain't know about what's a quad or what's a Mola or whatever. What, how you pronounce their name? Yeah, so well, Yahweo is the name you want. Yeah, I know. I be trying to understand Yahweh, what all them evil like they be they be in it be so many different they they like yeah. that Minotaur with person and all this they be in it it be it's written in their history and they be trying to change it up. Yeah. And I, and I, people don't know. I be I be. Yeah. Yeah, I and be they, they cover it with different idols like Santa Claus and all that shit. But Yahweh is the name you want. Yahweh is not his name. But real quick, I'm gonna finish the scripture for y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, y'all can rock out. I'm gonna get this one scripture. Uh. It says, because thou shalt forget thy misery. The Lord going to wipe away all our tears and all our sin, man. All right? And he's starting it right now. All right? Now, it says, uh, and remember it as waters that pass away. Thine age shall be clearer than the noonday, meaning your life is going to be purer than when the moon, the sun is in the sky at noon. And it's bright outside. You're going to have a bright, clear life from that point. You're going to start living a, a clean path. All right? And especially when Yahweh Shah shows up, he's going to wipe away all tears. He's going to give us new bodies with the laws in them. We're going to have everything perfect. We ain't going to have to teach each other no more. You're going to be born knowing who Yahweh Shah is. And it says, um, Thou shalt shine forth. He said we're going to shine at the firmament of heaven. The 
the firmament that's around the round globe of the earth, right? Right? The so firmament. The, uh, above the, uh, the waters, above the, the waters above. Well, oh, you know the globe that's around the earth? Yeah, like how we supposed to be in like a, a globe. I ain't give a chance. No, not, not that. Not, we, in, we in a ball. An oval. Oh, yeah, like, I'm thinking like a snow globe. Mm -hmm. The whole ball. A ball. Oval, just like a basketball. Oh. That's how the earth is made. Yeah. All right, you got to have a firmament all the way around to have perfect gravity. Yeah. With the core of the earth pulling from every direction on a three-dimensional surface. Now, check it out. <laughs> and thou shall be, it says, in thine age, thy life shall be clearer than the noonday. Thou shall shine forth. Thou shall be as the morning, brother. You know, no more in darkness. No more having questions. What is this? What is that? You're going to know. This is your chance. All right. And thou shalt be secure because there is hope. Yea, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. And also thou shalt lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. Yea, many shall make suit, uh, suit unto thee, but the eyes of the wicked shall fail, I-U-I-C, and they shall not escape. And their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghosts. That's for the wicked. That's for people like Trump. That's for people like IUIC that's not warning our people. You see that? As soon as you came up, first thing we did was hit you with this. Because this is about to be the new money. Are oh, you talking about uh, cash at me? Uh, give me something like with credit. Co they coin, talk. coin. I uh, use Bitcoin. When Bitcoin. You start using your, your real money so they... And then they give you the fake money, and then they they track you. They know what you're doing. That's right. And all that. The fake, the dollar is fake money. Yeah. Uh, petrol, petrol. No, no, the dollar. What's real? Yeah, petrol dollar. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so uh, it's, it's, it's the thing that uh, monopoly money. Right, brother. It's fiat money. Now, what what was uh what's real money? Uh, assets like uh like uh, resources, resources. That's like, right, stuff, like you can actually like barter and trade with something like you know, right. I see value what you got. That's right, man. It's gold, like, gold and silver. Cause you can't eat your money, but I could I could probably be buried. I could trade on these fruits. That's could, right. I could, <laughs> <laughs> I got, yeah. Hey, what's your name, man? Oh, uh, uh, my name, my, my name, he's a McKinsey. Huh? He's a McKinsey. Say what? He's a McKinsey. He's a? Yeah. All right, tell him one, bro. He said what's your name? Howard one. Howard uh, one? Yeah, yeah, you said it right, right? Hey, you got the website, right? Brother, come on, man. You got to do this, man. you like a young lion that's waiting to break out and grow your mane. You ready, man. You got to shake off the dust and get to the work so we can wake these people up. The Lord is looking for 144,000 men to wake up to the truth, and we need help doing it. Man. If you can help out. All right, my dad. All right, I got a precept. Uh, this is second, uh, second Chronicles, yes. chapter... Uh, Chapter 7, verse 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. So if you seek the face of Yahweh, by Shai, Shai, who are people if you call, you know, God, or, um, um, Jehovah, and Yahweh, the Father's true name is Yahweh, and the Son's true name is Yahweh Shai. So we seek their face by, by keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes to the best of our ability, and having faith in the Son, Yahweh Shai. Right? And follow after the footsteps that Yahweh Shai has left on this earth, meaning to do the, do the, do the will, man. All right? Do the will of the Heavenly Father. That is our whole obligation to do. All right? To right. keep His commandments and teach His, teach his word, man, because 144,000 men, they, that's what they will be doing in these times, pushing this word and, and, and bringing forth, bringing forth fruit. All right, turning many back to righteousness so we can shine as the furnace, like the brother, like the elder Saquon had just said. So watch. Yeah. All right, this is the book of Acts, chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come. From the presence of the Lord, come, because you don't want to be caught, you know what I'm saying, during judgment day with your pants down, caught in your sin, you know what I'm saying, basically. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you want to, the time is now, man, to start repenting now, and what repent means? To turn away from your sin. Not to say, oh, I'm sorry, ask for repentance, and keep doing it. You know what I mean? You never turned away. You know, you got to actually ask for that repentance, and you will start seeing progress. Right. Call on that name. That name is very important. 
Yeah, we're about to show you how we shot. I know, because they try to teach us about the, uh, Jesus Christ. And yeah. Not, no, no. That's why they, they, and that's why they did it. Yeah. Yeah. See the, the Bulgaria and all that. I know the, the, the white man. Yeah, they, they still, they still um, use that name, you know, uh, Christ. You know what I'm saying? So. That right there is uh, contradictory. I know, because it's not even supposed to be Christ. It's like, it's anointing one, right? Uh, uh, something like that. I, right, I, I, right. I, I, I try to make sure. Anointing, yeah. I'm on yeah. I'm on yeah. yeah. See, I haven't even, I be going back and forth. The New Testament, the Old Testament, I'm trying to read the Old Testament. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you got the YouTube, so you can catch up. Yes, sir, yes, look, sir. Look at their name, I-U-I-C. That means Israelites United in Christ. Hmm. Come on, brother. Yeah. And the, and the scriptures speak about um, eating the whole room. You know, and they not they you, you know you're Israelite according to what they preach, but they not they not giving you the whole rule. And um, I'm gonna I'm give you Second Timothy chapter four and verse three. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. So they not giving you sound doctrine because they're going off when it comes to uh, the RFID chip. Right, man. I got a precept as well. Right, this is Matthew chapter 23 verse 24. Ye blind glides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Like you said, full of extortion, but they just got brought up on charges. If you go into the, the YouTube world of um, trying to uh, reel in money from uh, certain members of their congregation. God, that's basically robbing from Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. It's robbing his people. Right, you're supposed to give this truth. Freely give, freely receive. You're not supposed to try to rob the congregation. All right, because you got it. Somebody get uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Oh, and real quick, with Bucket Shad was another point in there. He's, he, he basically said, he was saying, you know, they try to deck their outsides out with good apparel. Con. You know, they try to wear the clean shirts with the clean writing on it and all that. The wrist thing, what are they called? Gauntlets. Con. Uh, the wrist yeah, thing. They, they be looking like Power Rangers and stuff, looking all clean, like they finna come save the nation. But he said that's not so. He said they haven't cleaned their inside, man. Yeah, that's all They haven't renewed their mind. You know? Uh, Alright, that's you. Uh, one more. I can ask you a question about something. I really understand. I really want you to name it. It's that, it's that, it's that, it's that, uh, that 400 years. I was really the only sergeant. And do you believe that this is the land that they see when we're in foreign? He said, we're going to take over. I remember reading that Genesis that he told Abraham. He told him that they're going to own the land that you're foreign in, that you're, that you're, you're not supposed to be in. Yeah. That's what the land that he's from is. He promised us, he promised us, he promised us. So I'm saying, is that like, like, is it like Babylon? I can, I can consider Babylon like a sergeant. Like, yeah, this is Babylon. Is it like Babylon? Is it like Babylon? Is it like is that what we talking about? Is it we gonna, we gonna conquer over the oil? We talking about something else? Well, the 400 years we're talking about Egypt. Yes, sir. Yeah. The the <laughs> that's the <laughs> part. This is not the part. Right. This is gonna be totally destroyed. Never inhabited again, according to Isaiah 13. Ooh. This will never be inhabited uh -huh. again. But the land that we're gonna possess, we're gonna land, uh, possess Edom, the southern border. Israel, we're gonna possess Edom too. Uh, that, uh, Jordan, right? I'm, uh, I'm not sure where, um, I just, um, is Edom by Jordan? Uh, no, um, no, it's a lower than Israel. Yeah, the southern border of Israel. No, 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 it's, it's a perfectly cool question. It's a perfectly yeah, yeah, cool question. question. Yeah, so we in the quarters, like, because they be like 1619 and it's 2019, so I was like, that made me think, it's the affliction. Are we in the affliction? Well, Are well, we this is the Egypt? second Egypt. I got, I got a All right, the second Egypt. All right, bring it up. All right, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse, verse, uh, when we start at 8. Okay, straight to the point. Straight to the point. All right, this is Revelation chapter 11, and I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, and the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which... Spiritually, it's called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, so what was told? Totally so this is spiritually Egypt and Sodom, and this is the mystery Babylon. You were right about that. It's the mystery Babylon. Hey, Jordan is near Egypt. It is? Yes. Yeah, near the land of Canaan. Boom. So we're going we're gonna to possess that land because Edom's going to be destroyed. They're going to go into bondage for a thousand years. After that, they're going to be wiped off the face of the earth. And that land of Edom, Basra, all over there, we're going to own that land. This is a place in Egypt. You got places over there in uh, Edom, and southern border of Israel. And that's they so that made me. That, that gave me nothing. I know I'm just telling you. Yeah, and then well, when you, you said when you said the two witnesses, the two, yeah, yeah, yeah. the two witnesses represent the southern and northern tribes. Bro, ask all the questions you got.
Yeah. Well, the southern tribe is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That's yeah. the top tribe. The top tribe is Judah. All right, who well, are people you can call Jesus Christ? His name is Yahweh Shai, he came out of Judah. Yeah. And the southern tribe starting from Ephraim all the way down to Issachar. Ephraim is the, uh, the top tribe of the northern tribe of the Puerto Ricans. Yeah. And all the way down to Issachar, which is the Messiah. Yeah. All right, so that, them, them are the two witnesses. Right. Oh. Huh. Okay, so multiple, it ain't literally referred to just. So what's up with the uh why why what's the problem then like I heard they talking about uh I read about it I don't know where I came from maybe you can do my history it says Judah must rise first and others to rise what's why what's up with the why we ain't got to that point what's up I be thinking about that I be like a black man I be thinking about all that like a militia like why we ain't like a black man I'm asking this I'm asking this are the Gadites black are the Native Americans black yeah all about the no they're not black black our color Japan. Cause they fit into our group. If oh we... no, they're not bad. They're people of color. They're not black people. Black. That's right. Man. Now, are Africans our people? African people? Uh, not nah, cause we shimming they hit him. <laughs> Whoa! Well, what color are they? They, they are my skin color. I don't want to be naked. I don't want to be a naked. I don't want to be categorized with them for the color. So right, because a black cat and a black dog ain't the same thing. Man, you're you all right. Yeah. <laughs> so Check this out, brother. Yeah, I like that enough. Check this out. Now, uh, now uh, what were we talking about? Judah rise first. Yeah, Judah rise first. Judah, now you had the, the Native Americans, right? They've been trying to uprise against this place for a long time. Uh, the Puerto Ricans, too. Look at the oil, the oil pipeline with Trump. You know, they want their land back. The, the, the Gadites, the Native Americans. But the one that's going to set off the war and actually get it kicking off is going to be Judah. Judah is going to set off a, a race war in this, in this place called America. And they're actually going to win. And then that's when, guess who's going to join with them? All these tribes. And they're going to be against one nation, Esau, and against these other heathens. And that's about to happen. But guess what? Two-thirds of these people are going to die here in the So they could win the race war all they want. But after that, they're going to burn up in the nuclear missiles. See that because they don't want to turn back to your house. But the Lord is saying one third and 144,000 men are going to turn back to your house by Shem and and be his army. We ain't going to get caught up in that race war. Think it's exactly 144,000 to set up the government. But at one third, you can't count that. That's a numerable multitude. A numerable multitude. That, just makes, me, that makes me wonder all this. Like, like you saying some really thing I be thinking like is uh. When you talking about the, 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 I've been thinking about the seven trumpets, the trumpets and the resurrection. I was thinking about what when you said uh, warm wood when it comes down. Is that nuclear? Is that nuclear? Is that is that is that an asteroid? Whatever. That's a missile. That's a missile. You just said it. That's a missile. Warm wood is a missile. Now the seventh trump that represents the time of, when the when the missiles get shot off. That's it. And the Lord said He's gonna protect us at the end of the sixth trump, and we at the end right now. So when the dollar collapses and they start pushing that RFID chip on a mass scale, this shit hit. I ain't gonna leave that alone. When they start oh, pushing, keep hitting me with that. Yeah. <laughs> let it know, man. Let it yeah. know. Right. That. So when they start pushing this, that's when you gonna see that war break out fully, man. And when that so, war break out, what's the R mark? I, I, that's what I be confused. R mark? Cause I know they mark gonna be. It's gonna be like I knew yeah. the Antichrist. What do you think? Seven mark upon them. That's right, bro. Yes, sir. And that that mark in the heat. Got it. Want me to do Revelation seven? Uh, uh, set a mark upon the men that side cry for all the abominations out of the mystery. Ezekiel 9. Ezekiel 9. 9 and 4. Yeah, I just said the whole scripture, but yeah. Might not know where it's at, though. But yeah, let's get the scripture and I'm going to show you our mark. Alright? Yeah. Then we'll get a mic down, brother. Alright, this is, uh, now who's now? Breach 14. Yeah, y'all can break that down. That's, uh, Ezekiel chapter 9. Right here. Bob, Ezekiel chapter 9, start at verse 4. It says, And the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So is he crying and sighing? He happy here. He chilling. You, you got an issue with this place. You know. Yeah, I'm curious, like, you want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I know. And you just like us, you might be silent about it. Yeah. You, we can't be like, hey, this place is wicked. You know, like a town crier. So we got to do it the way the Lord set it up. Like this. Right? But he said what? 
instead of Mark. That Mark, M-A-R-K, spelled the same way as Mark of the Beast, right? Mark of the Beast, M-A-R-K, right? Mark and Mark, same, spelled the same in English. But this Mark in Ezekiel is the Wah. The Tawa. And that's a mark from the Most High saying that's exempt from judgment. So that means all the destruction and, and uh, the destruction that's supposed to come here, I think this is it. All of this, this is, not good. This, is, this, this is not just happening by chance. This is all the Most High's. Yeah. Right, this is the Most High's doing. This is the Most High's judgment. Alright? Well, oh, you can check it out. But that's the Most High's judgment. So the Most High can keep you from His judgment as well. They protect really you. Really had a bomb on him. Oh, they, they huh? Just took the a hydrogen bomb wheel, they really did that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I ain't really into all that with these. Man. But this is the real business, though, brother. You got a chance to be saved from the coming destruction. Oh, no, man. I, I really, I, I really, um, yeah, about really that a lot. And, 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 and the scripture said it goes to the midst of Jerusalem, right? Now, where's Jerusalem right now? I mean, I would do it. I think about business with Israel, Palestine, but I don't know where it is. Yeah. Alright, so but Israel was the people before it was the place. Right, yeah. So, so the, you said go to the midst of Israel throughout the four corners of the earth. Yeah. And, and so the marked men that are signed crime by the abomination. Alright, so so we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So so this knowledge will be taught throughout the four corners of the earth, searching for the one that signed crime for the abominations that are done. Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, say, Thus saith Yahweh power, although I have cast them far off among the heathens, although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. All right, so in the countries where that we come, that we were scattered to, we're going to remember ourselves, and that little sanctuary is going to be these scriptures. All right, and then we're going to get an understanding of what's going to happen through these scriptures. And we don't, I mean, we watch the news and watch the, the fluctuation of the economy and everything like that. We watch the construction of these different uh, microchip companies that are making different forms of the RFID chip. But the main thing we pay attention to is these scriptures and, and make sure everything lines up with these scriptures. Because you do have whistleblowers of people that do, throw false flags out there to try to deter, you know what I'm saying, make people, like, you know what I'm saying, be thrown off with the prophecy. You know what I'm saying? You got that? This is Baruch. That's yeah. Chapter 2, verse 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. So we're remembering ourselves in the lands of our captivity, right? So throughout, you got these people all across the globe, the globe that are just a light popping off in the head just like you. Just like you. You, got, you, you can go, you, huh? That's not a coincidence. He said he's the Lord of Ar a host. That word host means army. Uh -huh. All right, what is the most strategic thing for, for a general to do, right? Put his army in the midst of the enemy. Now, we are in the midst of our enemy not knowing who we are, then boom, he woke us up. Woo. Now he's preparing us for battle. How we get prepared through these scriptures. Because it's a spiritual warfare right now. All right, so now, what did he say earlier? Um, we're not ignorant of Satan's weak um, devices. Uh -huh. All right, first one, uh, 2 Corinthians 2.11, I think. You said 2 Corinthians 2.11? Yeah, I think so. So, so we're not ignorant of Satan's, I got Satan's it. wicked devices. Everything that you see around here was, was put together to put you, to try to take your mind off of what's really going on. I understand. I think I'm afraid 